I didn't even add that to the ponytail yet. Mmm. What's up, people? It's Chris. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today we're just going to go ahead and hop right into it. Apparently there is a cream styler that can slick your hair back as if it were a gel. So I'm going to go ahead and give this product a try. I got it from Walgreens. This is the Afro Sheen Slick Back Cream Styler. Smooths and holds and it says it's extra hold. So this is what the product looks like from Afro Sheen. So real quick, let me read what it says as far as the directions. It says, Slick Back Cream Styler is a non-greasy and non-flaking formula that has developed to smooth your hairline and hair for those special looks, buns, afro puffs, or bantu knots. And it says, apply as needed to dry or damp hair. Use fingertips to apply to hairline, place in palm and rub hands together to apply to the base of hairstyle. Brush, smooth, and style as desired. So that's what we're gonna do. Here's a little lid with the afro pick. And then here is the product. And it is a very thick consistency, like very, very thick. I feel like this is right on time because I love wearing my hair in slick styles. I did say I was gonna try and wear them less often just to give, you know, all that smoothing and slick backness a rest. But I did wanna give this product a try. And also, you know, there's kind of been a lot going on with Eco Styler lately. I personally never stopped using it, but I really was only ever using it to slick my hair back. So my favorite type of Eco Styler, uh, should I get it? Let me grab it. So oh, this is the Eco Styler that I always use. And I use this to slick my hair back and do my baby hairs. So this is the one that I like for that. But I mean, if there's a cream that's gonna give me the same look, then we're gonna switch over to the cream styler because that's better for your hair, right? So I'm going to do a, yeah, a side part. Let's, let's try. A side part and I did wash my hair today it was time I was on day seven and my twist out lasted me so long so if you have not seen my last video my last natural hair video it was a twist out and it was bomb so you should check that out that twist out lasted me a whole six seven days I did already apply a leave-in in the shower so we can just go straight in with this cream styler, but I'm just gonna detangle. So I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna start off with this side. I usually work in sections. I don't have like super, super thick hair. Like my strands are more on the fine side, but it is a lot easier to work in sections when your hair is curly so that's just what I'm gonna do I have about this much for this side of my hair I'm just gonna rub it in between like that and then just apply it on this side get some on the back Alrighty, I'm going in with this brush. I'm pretty sure this brush is from the Dollar Tree, FYI. And oh, I just messed up my part. Brush this back out. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna twist this up. We're gonna try to just go ahead and tackle this, this little side and the back. So this side over here looks great. And it was very, very easy to slick this back. I did start off with like pretty wet hair because my hair is freshly washed and deep conditioned. So that is something to keep in mind. But that side was pretty easy. So I'm just going to wrap that for now. We're gonna see about the front section. I'm just gonna go section by section. So I'll probably do like three. being a little heavy-handed up here just because the the side where you have the most hair is usually you know it's always the hardest to slip back and get it to stay in place when you do a side part so I'm just really trying to make sure I have enough product on the side so it'll stay bigger scrunchie but I just double it. I'll do one more brush. and then I'll come back and show you guys like the final final. Alrighty, I have my scarf. I really love this scarf. I'm pretty sure I got this from Walmart. If I can find it, I will make it for you guys because I really like this scarf. Alright, so I will be back maybe in about an hour. One hour later. 
So let's see. Looks great. I love this. And I got shine. I'm just gonna do a little bun and just take this and just clip the top. Hopefully it'll stay. I'm going to sleep, so it really doesn't matter how to put my scarf back on, but I just wanted to show No gels were used in the making of this look, not an ounce of gel, not one ounce. So I'm gonna put my gel off to the side because the way this looks, yes. This cream was $7 and it got me together, loving the look, loving the shine. It has a soft feel to it, like it doesn't feel like hard and stiff. So I really like this slick back, let me get the title correct. This slick back cream styler from Afrosheen, I really like this. Two reasons, the first being it gives you the same effect and the same look as a gel. Like it literally looks the same. Number two, with it being a cream, I feel like it's a better option for your hair, a little bit healthier. Especially if you get in those moods where you just wanna slick your hair back for a couple of days. I know I have those moods all the time. That's literally how I wore my hair, I feel like the whole summer was in slick back ponytails. I wish I had this cream because it's just a softer hold and it just feels better on your hair. It's less stressful on your hair. I'll go ahead and leave a link to this product down below in the description box just in case you're interested and you wanna read up on it, but it is a definite yes for me. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this slick back ponytail slash bun with the cream styler. Before we head out, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell. That way you never miss any uploads from me. I upload twice a week, so make sure you smash the subscribe button and the bell. And I will see you guys in my next one.